Hey guys, Bing here. Um, previously, I modeled this uh, curtain panel pattern base badly. So today, I'm going to use it in a uh, a building mass. Okay. So first, let's create a project. And uh, component model in place, mass and OK. So now. First, let's create some uh, reference lines, spline, draw on work plan, so set, so make sure that's ground floor, um, then let's draw, the, so pretend this is a front facade, okay, so now I'm going to place some more points there for the, um, for all the side wall and back walls of this building. So one here, one here, and maybe here. Okay, so, and then select them. Spline reference line, spline reference line, and the spline reference line. Okay, so now if I go to from uh, elevation, I will just copy them up maybe 9 meter and another 9 meter so now if I go to 3D view so these are the three um, set of splines and the lines so which you can so all these points you can just adjust these points to uh, so whatever you like and then you can select them create form so now you will let me just give the give it a material okay so um maybe just white color material and change that to shade so now you can see this is a, a mess and uh, probably not like this maybe go up a bit so just so this this will be the facade face and uh, you can just uh, move all these points or even even go up all right so go inside um, maybe this, this one go outside maybe this one go a little bit that way this one go that way so so once you're happy so then and actually, you can you can just adjust, adjust these points at any time. Okay, so now let's pretend I'm quite happy. No, maybe not happy. Go that way. Hmm. Okay, now pretend I'm happy with this face. And then tab select this face, and then you can divide surface. Okay, so now you can just change all these. Uh, depending on the size, maybe I'll just make it like a 2 meter by 2 meter and then so I have all these uh, grids so I'm going to leave it for now I, I'll um, do the walls and the floors and the roof first okay so for the messing walls it's quite easy just finish this mess and then just go architecture or wall or wall by face so if you want this wall to be built um, outside of this mess it just changes this to internal so and then pick the wall so you will see the walls placed outside of this mess messing yeah so one two three three wall and then a uh, roof roof is similar just go roof roof by face and then pick this and create roof and of course so see this if when you see this uh, this means the face of this massing is overlapping with a, a roof so what you can do is select this roof select this roof and that's option pick face location so if I change this to the bottom of the roof so you will see the roof go up so on top of this massing so yeah. So now we need some floors. Okay, so before before we create some floor, we need levels. So go to the elevation. So here we have two levels. 
let me just uh, maximize x3 and then go on so just copy them so uh, multiple I'll just copy one two three maybe another four there okay so and now go select the mass thing okay click on here and then so that's mass floor click mass floor and take all the uh, levels you want to create a, a, a floor so one two three four five and ground level to five okay so now you can see that's level of mass floor so that's a piece that's just a, a thing a face um it's there's no uh, thickness okay so that's mass floor so one two three four five six yeah so now you can what you can do is go to floor and go floor by face and then pick one two three four five six and then create floor so now you will have a floor with thickness yeah so you can change different floor and even you can edit ground boundary so and then just uh, maybe uh, for uh, you, you don't want this just one half of this floor you can just uh, adjust this okay and uh, floor wall roof it's all finished so if if uh, at some stage you want you need to change this mass so for example edit and then uh, you need to uh, adjust this Messing, uh, maybe we need to do this. And once you once you finish the editing, and it it won't automatic change, but it's simply you just go click on this wall and update. Click on this wall, update. Click on this floor, select all floor, update, Se select this roof, update, and the, that's it. So now let's have a look of this uh, facade. So, so previously we just modeled this one. Just simply uh, tab, select this edit family, and then load into this project. Um, so and then edit this edit in place select this uh, face select this face and then before before I uh, so it should be there so this is a family so before I change uh, before I, I use that family I just I'm just going to adjust this a little bit so see this um, a little edge there so maybe instead of fixed distance I'll just use max spacing and uh, this will promote provide a better so all the edge is clean so there's no like half panel or a uh, little piece there so and also um, 20 maybe 1.5 meter by 1.5 meter oh 1.4 meter so okay so this will take a little bit time I'll just uh, edit so pick this one and we need to wait okay okay now we have this facade um, looks like the panel is on the other side <laughs> No, that's that's okay. We just uh, click on this one, uh, the family, and then here yeah, that's a component flip. I just check this one and then apply, and we just need to wait another couple of minutes. Yep, that's that's it. So. Uh, it's a little bit heavy, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah, a little bit broken edge, but uh, the most of the 
families looking okay. So, so that's it for today. So we quickly modeled a uh, we modeled a massing and then apply some wall, roof, and floor, and also a curtain panel pattern based family as a facade. Um, if you have any question or if you have better idea, just let me know. Okay. So otherwise, I'll see you next. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye.